hey guys welcome back to my channel so I am going to be organizing underneath my bathroom cabinet um, as you guys can see under this cabinet here I have all of my body products and then on the other side I have medicine because I don't have a medicine cabinet and just a few makeup bags and extra bags stored over there so what I want to do is organize everything and build some shelving so that I can maximize the space going upward underneath my cabinet. So I went and had some MDF board cut at the Home Depot of the measurements that I'm going to need to build underneath each side of my cabinet. And I've already painted it gray, which is keeping with the theme of the purple, white, and gray in my bathroom. So the first thing I did was clean everything from underneath my cabinet so that I could start with a clean slate. So to give it a design underneath my cabinet, I didn't want it to just be plain wood. I'm going to use contact paper and a foam board. And the reason why I'm using the foam board is because I don't want to stick the contact paper directly on my wood underneath my cabinet. I don't want it to be permanent. Now, if you have pipes underneath your sink, you're going to need to cut out a piece to go around the pipe. I ended up having to cut this slab in half and just connect it where the pipes met up. So I'm using three pieces, two sides and a shelf. And I found it's easier to insert one side first, then put the shelf in and slide the other side underneath it. Alright guys, so this is what everything is looking like so far with my shelving and um, let's just call this backsplash for the contact paper. But next what I'm going to do is cover the pipes that are still left out in the open and I'm going to use foam board for this as well. And as you guys can see, I've already cut it in a way that it wraps around the pipe and lays flat against the back. And I'm going to add contact paper to it as well. Okay guys, so here's the finished look of this side of the cabinet. This is what this area over here will look like. And now I can just have fun styling it by putting my containers and everything in here. Now I'm going to go over to my other cabinet and put the shelving in underneath there as well. So before I show you guys how I organize everything underneath my cabinet, I do want to share with you that I changed out my knobs to so these silver knobs. Originally they were this dark brass color. Um, I actually took the silver knobs and placed these clear acrylic gemstones on the front of them with a hot glue gun. And I kind of like the way that it accents out better than the other ones. And I'm going to change out my pull handles to match these knobs as well. And that drawer organization video is going to be separate because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to organize that space. Okay guys, so this is what the left side of my under cabinet looks like. These are the containers that I purchased. Um, I got the storage container from Michaels. The jars, the mason jars came from Michaels as well. And these two containers down here came from Home Goods. So I'm gonna just go from top shelf to bottom shelf. In this storage container here, I'm keeping like um, extra tissue, extra products um soap toothbrush i have some extra q-tips basically all of my overflow i'm storing in that storage bin right there and then in the middle here in these mason jars is where i'm keeping all the cotton and q-tips so in this container right here i have q-tips and then i've got some wedges in that jar and then on this side are the flat cotton rounds and in the larger container in the back i have cotton swabs i thought it'd be cute to keep the overflow in here in the mason jars underneath the cabinet because on top of my countertop in one of those acrylic organizers is where I keep the ones that I use on a daily basis. So next to it, I decided to start keeping towels in here because um, the worst thing you wanna do is get in the shower and realize you don't have a towel to dry with and you have to run in the hallway to the linen closet. 
So what I've done, I'm just gonna start keeping at least three towels in this crate. And I got this crate from Michaels and um, you can see that it was in original wood. But I painted it a light lilac color to kind of blend in with the color scheme. And I think this crate was like $6 and that storage container right there was 60% off at Michaels. So I think I only paid about $8 for it. Now underneath here, um, I had medicine stored in this area because I don't have a medicine cabinet. So what I'm doing now is keeping all the medicine in this um, bin here that I got from Home Goods. So basically all of our cough medicine, any type of first aid or anything, that's where I'm storing all of that now and my daughter knows where to come to get that as well. Now in this gray bin next to it, I'm keeping feminine products. I'm gonna pull it out and show you guys Now these containers here came from the Dollar Tree, um, the clear acrylic ones, and I've got panty liners in here. And then as you guys can see, these are actually the butter dishes from the Dollar Tree. And um, I, they fit the tampons like really well. So I'm keeping like the tampons, the super and regular tampons or whatever. And no, so these are all the little kitchen containers from the Dollar Tree that I decided to um, make work in here. And then next to it on this side, I'm storing a black cherry Merlot candle from Bath & Body Works. So in the back behind the candle, I've got some of those, some more mason jars that I purchased from Michaels, but these already have the chalkboard label attached to them. And um, initially I wanted to keep like, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is what the jar looks like up close. And um, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna actually use it for but it has the little latch on it that opens up and you can store different things in here as well. So we'll see what ends up going in there, but I thought they were so cute and then I could use them for something. So that is everything that I'm keeping under this cabinet over here. And now we can move on to the other side. Now under this side of the cabinet, this is more so the area where I'm keeping all of my body products, hair care products, things that I tend to reach for on a daily basis. So I actually built this side a little differently from the other side, as in I couldn't take the board all the way across because of the pipe. So I only built like a half shelf here. That's what you see right there. And um, I ended up just putting the contact paper still in the back and just put a full foam board in front of the other pipe that was showing. So in this bin right here, these are all of my day-to-day -day body products, my face products, and everything that I use when I come out of the shower. And I have it in an open container by itself so that it's easy to just reach and grab everything and then put it back and I can stay organized that way. So these two crates right here came from Michaels as well. And um, I think the larger one was $10. And again, this is the same smaller one that I have on the other side. It was like $6. But um, in this one, I'm just keeping natural hair care products because I do separate them out from just my other hair products. Um, in here, I don't know if you can see me zoom in a little bit. So in this one, I have a lot of like, um, shea, I have a lot of Shea Moisture and um, Organics coconut milk, mixed chicks, anything that I use when I'm wearing my hair in its natural state is in this crate right here. Now going down, this is where I'm keeping all of my normal hair care products, um, mostly like shampoos and conditioners, oils and sprays. And I just kind of lift it out like this. And if you can see inside here, just like I said, it's just a bunch of shampoos, conditioners, hairsprays, leave-in. I'm a product junkie, so I tend to like to try a bunch of different things to see how I like it. And these labels are the same labels that came from Michaels that I used in my kitchen organization video. It's so easy to just write on them with a chalk, chalk marker and label what you need. It comes on and if you need to change it, it's easy to remove. It doesn't like stick. So anyway, this is what the left side of my this is what the right side of under my sink 
looks like. And I'm gonna keep it organized. That's the plan. So guys, that is everything. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.